put your wallets away, this one is on us. Here are 10 great games you can play on Steam for free. There's nothing better than settling down at your PC to get stuck into a new game. Unless, of course, you're settling down at your PC to get stuck into a new game that was completely free. This week, we've searched the far corners of Steam to find 10 great games that you can play without spending any of your hard-earned cash, from fast-paced shooters to quirky indie adventures. Speaking of things that we can't believe are free, subscribing to the Logitech G channel and hitting the notification bell won't cost you anything, but it will help you keep up to date with all of our upcoming videos. For now though, here are 10 of the best free games to play on Steam. Excellent, time to destroy more opponents. If you think the M13, M16, and MP5 are the names of motorways, and enjoyed Fortnite until everyone started to get so good at building that they could create entire fortresses before you could swap between a roof and a set of stairs, Spellbreak might be for you. It's a brilliant battle royale that is entirely based around magic rather than weapons and carpentry. It's also new on the scene, so you don't have to worry about joining a game only to have a group of 10-year-olds run circles around you. You fly, loot, and spellcast your way across the map, grabbing amulets to increase mana and armor to increase, well, your armor. It's bright, action-packed, and tons of fun, and you can play solo, in a duo, or as a squad. So if you and friends are on the hunt for a new online game to try, you can't go wrong with Spellbreak. The wonderful world of Gwent is a divisive one. Either you found yourself abandoning the main story of The Witcher 3 The World Hunt in favour of challenging everyone from barons to boat builders in a high-stakes card game, or you tried a few rounds, couldn't quite get to grips with it, and carried on with the main campaign, never once thinking about building your Nilfgaardian deck or obtaining the next Scoia'tael leader card. To arms! Either way, we are confident Gwent the Witcher card game is for you. Building on the mini game in a way that will both delight fans of Gwent and help novices get familiar and start to think tactically, it's wonderful to dip into when you want to transport yourself back to the continent without having to saddle up Roach. Plus, at its core, it's just a really enjoyable card game that rewards you putting in time to build up your ideal deck and learning the strengths and weaknesses of your opponent's factions. For this most beautiful of maidens, I shall fight a hundred jewels! First release of 2017, Bungie's free-to-play first-person shooter Destiny 2 feels every bit as alive and exciting as when it first came out. Perhaps even more so, the follow-up to Destiny, believe it or not, Destiny 2, is an epic sci-fi adventure where you play as a guardian tasked with protecting what remains of Earth. There are plenty of different mission types, and the chance to tackle them solo or to team up with others. Destiny 2 is such an expansive game. The fact that you can get it for free on Steam does feel too good to be true. In fact, we half expect Zavala to kick down our door mid-raid and demand we give it back. Seeing as that hasn't happened yet, however, we highly recommend you give Destiny 2 a try if you haven't already. If you want to completely lose yourself in a game without having to get out your wallet, it's definitely worth a try. What is that? I've never seen anything like it. If you love Microsoft Flight Simulator but also enjoy blowing things up, then Digital Combat Simulator World, or DCS as it is justifiably abbreviated, is by far your best free option on Steam. The core platform includes a large map spanning the Caucasus Mountains and two completely free planes. Additional aircraft range in detail from fairly approachable to a 100-page manual, and can be bought individually or in packs. Developer Eagle Dynamics run very enticing sales several times a year and often open everything up for free for a couple of weeks at the same time. Anyone who fancies themselves a bit of a maverick or even a goose needs to jump in, start eyeing up a HOTAS, and join the passionate, friendly DCS community. Please don't tell them we were making Top Gun references, though. They don't like it when people do that. Brawlhalla is a bright brawler that's anything but boring. Try saying that three times fast. In Brawlhalla, history's greatest warriors are pitted against each other in an attempt to prove who the ultimate fighters are. They do this through 1v1, 2v2, and free-for-all platform battles, as well as other game modes like Capture the Flag and Brawl Ball. What's particularly great about Brawlhalla, however, is the complete lack of pay-to-win options, which means you don't have to shell out any cash to give yourself advantages over other players. 
chance. This also means if you want to win, you're going to have to put in the practice rather than pitching your mom's credit card. Brawlhalla also has crossplay, which means you can play locally or online with your friends who play on Xbox, PlayStation, or that one mate who insists on playing on their Switch. You can also create custom rooms so you can show off your very particular set of skills in your own personalized matches. Three, two, one, brawl! And now for something completely different. If you're not quite in the mood for looting or shooting, perhaps Mist Messages is what you're looking for. A beautiful, short visual novel with a soothing art style, a wonderful soundtrack that you can control yourself, and a story that begins with you accepting a message from the mysterious goth GF's iPhone. Mist Messages is equal parts heartbreaking and hopeful, with different dialogue options and decisions to make culminating in one of four endings. It covers subject matters such as mental health, sexuality, and of course, me. To say much more would be to take away from the magic of experiencing missed messages yourself. And when you can finish the game in less than half an hour, there's no reason to wait. And now back to our regularly scheduled running and gunning, Paladins is a vibrant free-to-play fantasy shooter with a huge roster of characters to play as. There are plenty of ways to customize your playstyle in Paladins too, whether you want to be a fast-moving elf or a jetpack-wearing dragon. Whether you prefer good old-fashioned gunplay or wielding magic at your fingertips. Whether you like to tackle your foes head on or hide behind a rock and let everyone fight amongst themselves for a bit, there's something for you in Paladins. It's fast, frenetic, and perfect for casual players and esports enthusiasts alike. We'd like to think we spent time trying out every champion the game has to offer, weighing up the pros and cons of each, and ultimately finding our perfect match, but what we really did was pick the champion that looks coolest and try to make it work. The battle has begun. Now, how to describe the supper while still maintaining the element of mystery that the game demands? Hmm. The Supper is a short adventure game where you play as Ms. Appleton, a tavern owner whose sweet demeanor vanishes once she begins to hear a voice inside her head. A voice with a very clear demand for Mrs. Appleton to serve a particularly special meal to her patrons. We can't say much more, in part because we don't want to get demonetized, but because much like Missed Messages, it's such a short and unique experience that we highly recommend you go in knowing as little as possible. Although don't blame us if after you play, you don't trust any cafe, restaurant, or takeaway ever again. You've been warned. The beauty of Tabletopia is you get hundreds of games for the price of, well, none. Some might call it cheating to include around 300 games as a single entry, but we prefer to call it economical if it's all the same to you. From a classic game of chess to a regal round of love letter where you help a noble princess find her perfect match, there are so many different board games to choose from in Tabletopia. Each game comes with the option to play locally, which spans across the minimum and maximum number of players allowed for each particular board game, to an online option to gather a group of friends. It's also the perfect way to discover a new favorite board game before you spend any money on the physical version. If you're feeling overwhelmed by the sheer number of choices available, we recommend Secret Hitler. It's much more fun than it sounds, honest. The thing we love most about Respawn's squad or duo based battle royale shooter, apart from the price, is just how much new players can enjoy it right from the off. Great map design, inventory management, and unique character abilities means it's certainly not lacking in tactical depth, and the shooting is complex and satisfying too. What Apex really nails is the perfect running to fighting to dying ratio that, in this kind of game, can often feel brutally biased in favor of the bits you don't enjoy. We might not go so far as to say it's a forgiving game. It's a battle royale after all. But generally speaking, when you die, it's because you made a critical boo boo or got outplayed, and not just because your opponent saw you first. Take it fire, we also love the art style, lore, voice cast, and the price. Or did we mention that already? You are the Apex Champions. So there you have it, 10 great games you can play on Steam without having to recite your 16 digit card number. Let us know which game you'll be getting stuck into first in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. For more videos from us here at Logitech G, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload.